In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. Aleph, Lam, Mim. These are the verses of the wise book. A guide and a mercy for the righteous. Those who observe the prayer, and pay the obligatory charity, and are certain of the hereafter. These are upon guidance from their Lord. These are the successful. Among the people is he who trades in distracting tales. Intending, without knowledge, to lead away from God's way, and to make a mockery of it. These will have a humiliating punishment. And when our verses are recited to him, he turns away in pride, as though he did not hear them, as though there is deafness in his ears. So inform him of a painful punishment. As for those who believe and do good deeds, for them are the gardens of bliss. Dwelling therein forever. The promise of God is true. He is the mighty, the wise. He created the heavens without pillars that you can see, and placed stabilizers on earth lest it shifts with you, and scattered throughout it all kinds of creatures. And from the sky we sent down water, and caused to grow therein of every noble bear. Such is God's creation. Now show me what those besides him have created. In fact, the wicked are in obvious error. We endowed Luckman with wisdom. Give thanks to God. Whoever is appreciative, is appreciative for the benefit of his own soul. And whoever is unappreciative, God is sufficient and praiseworthy. When Luckman said to his son, as he advised him, O oh my son, do not associate anything with God, for idolatry is a terrible wrong. We have entrusted the human being with the care of his parents. His mother carried him through hardship upon hardship, weaning him in two years. So give thanks to me, and to your parents. To me is the destination. But if they strive to have you associate with me something of which you have no knowledge, do not obey them. But keep them company in this life, in kindness, and follow the path of him who turns to me. Then to me is your return. And I will inform you of what you used to do. O oh my son, even if it were the weight of a mustard seed, in a rock, or in the heavens, or on earth, God will bring it to light. God is kind and expert. O oh my son, observe the prayer, advocate righteousness, forbid evil, and be patient over what has befallen you. These are of the most honorable traits. And do not treat people with arrogance, nor walk proudly on earth. God does not love the arrogant show offs. And moderate your stride, and lower your voice. The most repulsive of voices is the donkey's voice. Do you not see how God placed at your service everything in the heavens and the earth? How he showered you with his blessings, both outward and inward. Yet among the people is he who argues about God without knowledge, without guidance, and without an enlightening scripture. And when it is said to them, follow what God has revealed, they say, rather, we follow what we found our parents devoted to. Even if Satan is calling them to the suffering of the blaze, whoever submits himself wholly to God, and is a doer of good, has grasped the most trustworthy handle. With God rests the outcome of all events. Whoever disbelieves, let not his disbelief sadden you. To us is their return. Then we will inform them of what they did. God knows what lies within their hearts. We give them a little comfort. Then we compel them to a harsh torment. And if you ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? They will say, God. Say, Praise be to God. But most of them do not know. To God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. God is the rich, the praised. 
If all the trees on earth were pens, filled by the ocean, with seven more oceans besides, the words of God would not run out. God is majestic and wise. Your creation and your resurrection are only as a single soul. God is hearing and seeing. Have you not seen how God merges the night into the day, and merges the day into the night? That he subjected the sun and the moon, each running for a stated term? And that God is cognizant of everything you do? That is because God is the reality, and what they worship besides him is falsehood, and because God is the exalted, the supreme. Have you not seen how the ships sail through the sea, by the grace of God, to show you of his wonders? In that are signs for every persevering, thankful person. When waves, like canopies, cover them, they call upon God, devoting their religion to him. But when he has delivered them to dry land, some of them waver. No one renounces our revelations except the treacherous blasphemer. O people! Be conscious of your Lord, and dread a day when no parent can avail his child, nor can a child avail his parent, in anything. The promise of God is true. Therefore, do not let this life deceive you, nor let illusions deceive you regarding God. With God rests the knowledge of the hour. He sends down the rain, and he knows what the wombs contain. No soul knows what it will reap tomorrow, and no soul knows in what land it will die. God is all-knowing, well-informed, 